the most popular thing I've ever written hasn't really done shit for me. Though it has drawn hundreds and hundreds of people to my website every week, which is one of those metrics that a lot of business influencery people, like smart marketing people, tell you to care about. Which of your marketing assets draws in the most traffic? So this is the one for me. But it's worthless to me because it hasn't led to sales, it hasn't added to my email list, my audience, etc, etc, etc. So this is just one example of how getting lost in the sauce of specific metrics without putting them in context doesn't really do much for your marketing strategy. Because if I was just going to look at what's my most popular content, which brings in the most new people, I'd make more marketing example articles like the one about Chewy, and then I'd be putting a lot of effort into that and not increasing my sales. Whereas other marketing assets of mine that have much lower reach, much lower traffic, much lo lower searchability have actually resonated much more deeply with people and led more directly to sales. Like when I talked about my money dirt, <laughs> for example. Anyway, if you need help not beating yourself up about metrics or not sure how to put them into context so you can actually use them for useful marketing insights so that you can do more of what works and less of what doesn't in your marketing, come to What's Working Week.